Hello, hello, hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. And it is time to return to the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Now, we had left off uh, trying to... Uh, working on the Westgate prison scenario issue. So we have to get uh, Okay, so we got the pen, I believe. So let's see, I got the box. Okay, let's uh, head back now. Ah, yes. Going the right way here. I had to get reorientated. What a bunch of incompetence. Oh, if I was as unprofessional as that, there would be murderers running all over the town. What's the matter? Are you a patient of Dr. Watson? Very amusing. I was <laughs> going on about the dry cleaners in Westgate Street. They've just delivered my ceremonial uniform in the middle of my duty, when I've told them a thousand times not to bring it until after six in the evening. A ceremonial uniform? You've been promoted? No, and that's not about to happen. No, I've been invited to a wedding. I, I mean, I hope to be. I'm in trouble. If the director sees that I've left my post, I'll be sacked without pay. Give it to me, Warden Brighton. I'll take care of it for you. Really? Thanks a lot. Here's the key to the cloakroom and that of my locker. I'm really grateful, Mr. Holmes. Not a problem. What have you got in mind, Holmes? You're not doing this out of kindness, are you? No. Out of curiosity, we will be able to access the cloakroom with these keys. Oh! Smart. Cloakroom key, key from, Bright uh, from Brighton's locker. One's his pet. Brighton's suit. Alright, where's the cloakroom? Cloakroom! Where's the cloakroom? Uh, where's the cloakroom? No, it's not the cloakroom. Where is the cloakroom? Cloakroom! Oh wait, guard room key first. Entryway. I wanna find this guard room first. Uh I'm not about to open that. Low level security. Closed. Oh yeah, I gotta go in the guard room, which is this one. Sorry, Mr. Holmes, you can't go in the basement for the moment. Well? For what reason? The door has locked itself automatically. We must enter a new security code. Uh -huh. Do it then. Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard duty list yet. Without that information, we don't know who's authorized to take note of the new code. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security zone. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. Why not ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to, and I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration centre. Anyway, the bars in the high security section are joined to the alarm system, which is in that room. We only need to sound it to unblock, but you see, we can't do that now. We'll try to find the duty list, Warden James. Yes. So now, now. And one, now that we know everything we need to get, we're ready to go in here.
Here is Brighton's locker. Well then, let's use. Oh, hello. What's this? Baking soda? Their stomach, caused by stress, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. What's this? The name on the key, key is Jenny, Jenny Patterson. That, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. My cup. My cup. Interesting. Miss Hatton's locker. Uh huh. Let us examine Miss Hatton's locker. The lock on this box is rather sophisticated. Uh -huh. Incredible. Is Jenny hiding on something? Oh, I've seen this. A puzzle like this, and uh, oh no, that's gonna be down here, that'll be here. See, so they use a puzzle like this in uh, the Sherlock uh, Holmes uh, Baskerville game, handle the Baskerville type game. It's really very clever. Little Jenny is astonishing. Yes. Okay. Brighton's locket. Jenny Patterson, Frank Brighton, a single heart with two souls and eternal love. Interesting. A locket sealing the relation between Jenny and Warden Brighton. Decidedly, this boy is not a great poet. Yeah. My Jenny, let's get married. Never mind the consequences. Your father will have to accept the fact that we are in love. Think about the baby and don't forget that. I love you, 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 I love you. And I've written you a poem. Jenny Patterson, your heart pounds. Mine weighs a ton. Our love has no bounds. It just goes on and on. I was inspired by the great Chinese poets to write it. Be courageous, my honey bun. Yours, frankly. A letter from Brighton to Jenny barely literate. Apparently Jenny is carrying Brighton's child and it seems that Jenny's father, the director, is unaware of this. Mm. Service sheet, basement guard, Warden O'Sullivan. Reception, Warden Brighton. On call in the guards room, Warden McKenzie. Co-warden of the nation, Chief Warden James. Here is the famous guard duty list. Interesting. <laughs> Why don't we close these lockers? Uh. Oh, Watson closed them. Thank you. We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you like, I can go and discreetly give them to the guards. Oh, thank you. You've got me out of a lot of trouble, Mr. Holmes. Not a problem. Watson, get out of the damp doorway! Uh... What should we do next, Holmes? We can give Hans his pen. Problem is, I can't get out the damn door! What? 
Watson has uh, This small rack is for... Finally! We have found Chief Warden James's duty list. Good. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Let's see. O'Sullivan, if you takes over from Mackenzie, take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. <laughs> ah, Mr. Holmes, could I ask you for a favour? Certainly. Please do. I think I can say, on behalf of all the staff, that we would be honoured if you would care to write something in our guest book. Mm. With pleasure, O'Sullivan. You seem worn out, O'Sullivan. A good night's sleep would do you good. Mm. A good night's sleep would do me good. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Is something worrying you? As you know, Westgate Prison will soon be demolished. Yeah. I'm spending most of my nights studying for my exam to join the police. You understand, I have to think about my future. So sleep isn't a priority at the moment. Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent and motivated men. Would a letter of recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? Letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes, mm -hmm. recommending me for Scotland Yard. Are you quite serious? Completely serious, my young friend. May I use this writing paper, the one on your desk? A thousand thanks, Mr. Holmes. A thousand thanks. It is addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Thank you again, Mr. Holmes. Okay. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. What's this? The guards must spend long hours here. Yes. Now we must talk with the rat killer. Well, your pen. You have what you wanted, your precious pen. Yeah. You seem annoyed, Mr. Holmes. I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. Yes. I am not talking about you in the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? Mm. Are you hiding something? That is enough, Shieldman. You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine yes. at this moment. The poison which so interests you isn't finished yet. Its maker is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desired results. Oh. What is the end result? Now, Mr. Holmes, the end result of any science, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. Here we are talking about human nature, of course. And the creator's problem isn't so much the mixture as the durability of his creation. Mm. What do you mean? 
You see, this poison was made using rare but very volatile short-living compounds, which means that it is only possible to produce small quantities, which most importantly do not keep for a long time. Mm. Conceiving such a product in a laboratory especially built for the purpose could be achieved by any good chemist. Yes. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment, observing the particular conservation and storing conditions that a substance of this type requires, well, that would need a genius. <laughs> oh, yay! I doubt if the creator of this mixture would be capable. And you would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to be very short. Hmm. Holmes, it sounds to me as though this shieldman is implying that an escape attempt will be made. Yes. Yes, we must go and warn the director. Mm. Oh, to make a character move. Oh, I figured that one out. I see that the guards now owe Sullivan. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Okay. Come on! We need to get in up there. We must warn about the uh, situation. Uh oh, something happening. It is out of the question that your bastard is named Patterson. Very well. You refuse to reveal the father to me? Well, then go and join him. I'm not stopping you. I... I can't. Hmm. Director, you will have to postpone this small family reunion. We believe that a serious scheme is afoot. We must act without delay. You're not thinking of... Yes. Shieldman's words leave no room for doubt. It seems that he is planning an escape attempt. We strongly advise you to search his cell. Yeah. Do you really believe that he's hiding something? Because I must make an official report and have a legitimate reason for doing a search. Director, if this prison is still in operation, it is solely because of its reputation. Think of the consequences of an escape. It would be closed at once. And what post do you imagine would be offered to the person deemed responsible? You're right. No one will escape from Westgate under Patterson. I will order an immediate search of Mr. Shieldman's cell. Good. Chief Warden James reporting. The search of prisoner Hans Shieldman's cell has been carried out. No suspicious items were found. Thank you, <laughs> Chief James. I feel better now. Without wishing to offend you, Mr. Holmes, I am glad that you were mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we've nothing more to do here. Shall we go, Holmes? There's just one more thing for me to see, Watson. What's that? Mr. Holmes, sorry to interrupt you, but Miss Jenny wishes to see you alone. She is waiting for you in her office. This, Watson. How did you know? Wait for me in the guards room. I won't be long. What an extraordinary gentleman that Sherlock Holmes is. You must have had lots of adventures with him. Mm. Oh, yes. Dozens. Thought he was infallible. But there wasn't anything out of the way in the rat killer's cell. Could he have been mistaken? I must admit... Warden Brighton! In my office immediately! That's an order! Mm. The director seems furious. Yes. It must be important for him to order Brighton to leave his post. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Ah, help! Ah, ah, ah. You... did you hear that? Yes, that's not normal. I've never heard Flint shout like that. But 
Why does no Sullivan sound the alarm? Follow me, Mackenzie. Let's go and have a look. I'll oh, come oh. with you. No, Doctor Watson, you're not allowed in. Wait for me here. Very well. Hey, but uh, the grill is blocked, Chief. We've been locked in, and that smoke—it's coming from below. Oh, Sullivan, can you hear us? Sully, are you alive? Answer us, Sully. What's going on? Can I help you? Set an alarm in the guard room. That should unblock the door. Be quick. O'Sullivan might be in danger. It doesn't work. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you waiting for to sound the alarm, Doctor? It's impossible. It's been damaged. I'll run and warn the Director. No, Doctor. Our priority is to save O'Sullivan. Go ahead through the visitor's corridor. See if he answers your call. Very well. Take the keys. They're in our room. Oh, the keys, keys, keys. Where are the keys? Now, where are the keys? Oh. Oh, the desk. Desk, 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 desk. No. By the oh, there they are. Snaky, 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 snaky. Warden's gone. Locked. We have the keys. It doesn't work. What? Useless. This door is blocked by the timer, but not the one below. Give me the keys, quickly. That's... I've got the keys, Doctor. Thank you. Follow me, Watson. We must repair the alarm. Hmm. Finally. There you are, Holmes. Okay, okay. I'm going to turn on the system. Watson, you make sure of the contact. I hope that this isn't dangerous. It works. Perfect. It's open. Let's go down. Be careful. From what your colleague said, the flints are out. We are trained for this sort of situation. And we're armed. Come and help us, Watson. Mm -hmm. The Everything flints. is back to normal. Thank you for your help, gentlemen. It was a pleasure. But where is O'Sullivan? He's no longer here. He must have gone out through the visitor's entrance. Yes, no. he must be pleased to have gotten out of the basement. Good. We must now check all the cells. It's the procedure in case of an alarm. We'll come and help you. You are evidently fond of wasting time, my dear fellow. Rejoin me at the reception when you've finished. I knew it. The, the grate is open. This is alarming. He's fine where he is, under the cover, still. How can he sleep with all this noise? I'll admit it's not normal. Perhaps the smoke has poisoned him. I had better take a look. Be careful, Doctor. He is dangerous. I mean, I could hear it. It's not... It, that's Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan! It's impossible. He was with us only a few moments ago. Or else... Or else it wasn't Oh, Sullivan. My God! He's escaped! The Rat Killer has escaped! Great! Ah, 
Holmes, there you are. Hans has escaped. I fear that this inquiry is a bitter defeat for us. No. Not at all, my dear fellow. Quite the contrary. Follow me. What? Why the devil have you brought me behind the prison? We have an appointment, Watson. Well, we had an auto save. Look who is waiting for us. Oh, so. Shieldman, I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down. He's harmless. What? But, but what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? Because I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. But how? And why? He's a dangerous madman. Holmes, you've made me an accomplice in this escape. You owe me some explanation. And you will have them. But my priority for the moment is to remove our new friend to a safe place. I won't be long, but I must go alone. I'll rejoin you later. Just give me your next destination. Very well. I suppose you know what you're doing. How could you doubt it? Here, take the notes. They will help you when you write up the account of our visit to Westgate. So, where do I find you? Okay. So we're going to do the uh, White Chapel next. The next step of our investigation should take place in the White Chapel area. Good. Okay. Go then, and I'll rejoin you there. Mm. Holmes notes regarding the way that he helped Hans Schielman to escape from prison are so extraordinary, I feel it would be better to transcribe word for word the conversation that we had afterwards regarding this matter. I felt the impatience in my friend's look. However, he delayed relaying, this, relaying to me the details of his incredible achievement. He began, began by telling me about Hans Schielman's fountain pen. This is what he said. The key to the escape was actually Hans Shellman's fountain pen. I discovered a note inside Shellman's locker. I can quote it to you from memory. Whoever is smart enough to open this case should know that a couple of drops of my masterpiece are mixed together with the ink inside the pen's reservoir. If you are reading this, note it means that I am in a tight spot, so understand that my special ink will temporarily destroy the will of anyone it touches. Therefore, you have a few precious seconds during which you can shape the subject's will. If you recognize my genius, use this knowledge to get me out of the embarrassing situation I am in, undoubtedly in. Schmelin had left this instrument for his future escape inside a case secured by a devious combination. That way he could ensure that none of the prison staff would find it, other than a well-informed friend. Understanding this, I decided to play along with him, but with a double game of my own. I would help him to escape, but I would allow also keep him under control by using his own creation on him. I allowed Schnellman to commence the game by giving him his pen, and then I started to advance my pawns. My first move was to persuade the director that it was necessary to search the, shell, the cell. I therefore passed the ball into Schnellman's court by giving him the opportunity with Warden James. He did not waste it. He coated the bars of his cell with the poisoned ink, and Warden James whose hands were contaminated, was under his control for a few seconds. He discreetly and quite simply ordered James to give him the keys. The ball was then back in my court. Now I had to find a way of neutralizing Warden O'Sullivan, who was to be the basement guard, as we discovered when we found Miss Patterson's duty sheet. I must admit that the young warden helped me enormously by asking me to sign the prisoner's visitor book. Absorbed in the tale, I went over the chronology of the events in my mind. I remarked that Holmes had already signed the visitor's book before giving Sch Schnellman his pen. He replied in the most annoying tone. Exactly. I anticipated it. And it was because of that I managed to get a step ahead in my game with Sch Schnellman. I was leading the race, and all the while he believed it to be the other way around. Schnellman did not suspect that I had already used his poison and thought that O'Sullivan being asleep was a godsend. He therefore was not suspicious about the letter of reference that he found inside the warden's pocket. Holmes then returned to the point at which he had broken from his tail to point out me the lack of pertinence to my remark. Well...
Okay. Oh, escape from Westgate Prison. Continue. But do not put the cart before the horse, Watson. Do let me continue. So by merely touching the fresh ink upon the page in the visitor's book, O'Sullivan was under my control. I suggested a state of advanced drowsiness, but ordered him not to do anything immediately just sufficient for him to be unable to resist a siesta during his guard duty. Later, after the changing of the guards, Schnellman used the keys to let himself out of his cell. He hit the sleeping O'Sullivan over the head and exchanged his prison uniform for the wardens. Then he created a smoke screen by using the ingredients that I had given to him. Sugar from Miss Patterson's tea tray, brightens bicarbonate of soda, potassium nitrate from guard's room and sulfur from a few matches. He used the keys again to free the Flint brothers. The two ruffians left at each other's throat and made the very dickens of a noise. He had the diversion he needed to leave the high security area. And that is the moment where you entered the game, Watson. Thinking that you were helping O'Sullivan, you allowed Hans Schnellman to open the corridor annexes bars by throwing him the keys. On my side, I opened the second lot by turning the alarm on again. In light of Holmes' explanation, I began to see my actions during the episode from quite another another angle. I was troubled by the way that he had used me without my having any idea at the time of the duplicity of my actions. I interrupted his monologue to refer to the guards who had not realized what had ha was happening and, whose were, and who were occupied with restraining the Flint brothers. Holmes continued, exactly. So there was now only one obstacle in front of Schnellman. Ward Brighton on the reception desk at the front of the building. I interrupted him again, but it was the director who summoned him so insistently, Holmes. You won't have me believe that he was an accomplice in this escape. Of course not. I provoked the director's rage toward Brighton, too impatient. I could not stop myself from asking how. I discovered that Jenny Patterson and Brighton were lovers. I also knew that the director did not have any idea about their affair and that he would surely fall into a foul rage if he found out. I asked him if that was the, also the reason why Miss Patterson had been summoned. Yes, she knew that I had opened her locket to find the guard duty list, and so she knew that I was aware of her affair with Brighton. She wanted to make sure that I would not say anything. I pointed out that if it had been rather unfeeling on his part to have told the director everything, reminding him of his promise to the young woman, he denied it in a somewhat hypocritical manner. I did not say anything. I simply let the lover's letters inside the urgent correspondence box in the secretary's office, knowing that they would be delivered to him a few minutes later, thereby provoking his anger. The director shouted at Brighton, who rushed off to the secretary's office. Schnellman now had nothing to stand between him and the front door. Another question leapt into my mind, and did not... And not the least important one. Why did he not simply run away once he was outside? Why did he wait? I was not disappointed by my friend's answer. It is evident, my dear Watson. If he did not run away, then it was only thanks to that aforementioned step ahead of which I told you. It gave me enough time to write the letter of recommendation for O'Sullivan with the poisoned pen. It was in the pocket of the uniform, and Schnellman could not resist reading it when he found it. But what was written in that letter? Not very much, just congratulations on your escape. Wait for me here. I gaped at him. And that is how the first and only escape from the most inviolatable prison in the kingdom came to pass, a scenario which, without doubt, will prove to be the focus of police college studies for a long time to come as one of the most extraordinary escapes in the history of modern prison. Damn, he's good. So we learned how the smoke screen was made. The director's manipulation and how holes control Shellman. And I'll save it after we get locked in here. Here we are in the heart of Whitechapel. Keep an eye on your wallet, Holmes. This area is the highest for pickpockets in all of the kingdom. Don't worry about my wallet, Watson. 
It would be easier to move Big Ben than to steal from me. Or to borrow a shilling from you. Amusing, <laughs> Watson. Really very amusing. Can we move on to more serious matters? I'm listening, Holmes. Okay. Auto save. And we're going to just save it as well. We've made serious progress. And next time around, we're going to take care of the Whitechapel dispensary. We're going to work on that part of the game. Until next time, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich and XS Word, inviting you to subscribe to the channel. Check out the other playthrough, other Sherlock Holmes playthroughs I've done. And check out some of the other stuff on the channel. I'm working my way through the 20, 2000 release of Aliens vs. Predator, having completed the 2010 release. I am also working my way through Portal 2, just started it actually. I'm working my way through The Witness, a very fun, relaxing game compared to some of these others I've played. I am working my way through the Zork franchise, currently working on Zork 2. I am working my way through Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure, coming to the end of that game in the near future. And I am also working my way through the Tales of Monkey Island series, uh, the Monkey Island series, and working on my, my way through Call of Cthulhu, the 2018 release. Also, check out some of the other videos I do. I have runs through Monstrum and Monstrum 2 up on the channel. Uh, Monstrum 2 runs usually show up on a Thursday morning. I am working through another game on Wednesday mornings. I have retrospectives going up every Saturday morning, and I'm reading through some of my stories I've written over the years on a Tuesday morning. So there should be some stuff of interest to you out there. Please subscribe, give the video a like, and take care. Again, Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere. Bye!